now into the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. For 12 rounds of heavyweights. Ladies and gentlemen, you got this one. You when you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. And he's holding. Watch the hook. A stinging uppercut by Prince. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good work defensively by Prince. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Nice block by the Cobra. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Halfway through round number one. A little head hunting with the right. He just missed that shot up top. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good right hand. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Here we go. Round two is underway. There you go. And now they're trading blows. That's a solid right hand by the Cobra. The Cobra's out there just waiting on a counterpunch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he can go through that door. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. The Cobra's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Little head knocking with that right hand. You got this one. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Prince is banged by an uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Prince. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there. Stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's wanting to keep it going that way. The Cobra's thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, 
what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants you to think. So that's all you need to know that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. Joe, if he was a counterpuncher, it'd be okay. You know, your defense creates offense when you're a counterpuncher. He is not that kind of fighter. He can't win this way. Solid straight right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Back to the body! Halfway through this round. It's not precise at all by Prince. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by the Cobra. Comes with the right. A well-placed left hand up top. Prince's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. And that's the end of round three. Watch your tickets, Jack. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. And he just holds on there. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Locks away that headshot. Come on, kid, both. 90 seconds to go in round number four. The Cobra's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Commits to the straight right. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. The Cobra's stunned and staggered. Solid hook. Good flush shot upstairs. Flush right hand to the body. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by the Cobra. Keep doing what you're doing. He's tired. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. 
Edwards. The Cobra's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Excellent jab by the Cobra. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Prince. Keep moving. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. to go in this round. And round five comes to an end. The Cobra's corner right now knows what's going down here. They got a fighter who can win this fight, but they need to urge him to win this fight here in the later stages. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Prince. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab. The right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Solid left hand to the head. Prince is... Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. A well-timed hook by the Cobra. To the head he goes with a left hand. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Prince. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Scored well up top. Relax, relax. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Now hugging on the inside. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Briggs is on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. The Cobra's right hand scores well that time. Strong jab by the Cobra. Parries that punch intended for the head. That is a strong uppercut there. Now he ties up there. And a good counter by Prince. He 
comes with the straight right hand. You're doing great. And that does it for this round. The Cobra's momentum is starting to show now. Look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number eight. You know, I know why, too, because I eavesdropped a little bit in between the rounds in the corner, and I heard them tell him, hey, come on, pick it up a little bit now, because otherwise he's going to get confident. And guess what? When you hear that, you don't want the other guy getting confident. Come on, skip focus. Way to block there. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Come that right on, hand over the top, Lance Flush. The Cobra's very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test here. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. The halfway point of round number eight. A crushing blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Solid. And a big punch puts him down. Question becomes, after that knockdown, and he Just has gotten up, up how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Keep working. The Cobra's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. There it is. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. And we come to the end of the round. Prince is, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut, but it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here, start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. We got a fighter who was knocked down earlier, who, as you can see, is still going about his business the exact same. Oh! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. some way he's gonna continue on here and if he's gonna stay in this fight now he's got to avoid this opponent like the black plague the cobra's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there big shot that was a big shot that floored him and it's a big shot that may end him right here that looked like the great pitch of great maddox his sinker ball boy it went down quick It's over. This fight is over. Prince's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, the Cobra. woke up the fans wow did that wake up the fans a fight that was assured of heading to the judges scorecard